good morning my dear students we come to the session on uh, the cable subjected to udl <coughs> so last session uh, uh, we have started talking about this uh, cable subjected to udl let us see what we have uh, discussed in the last session then we will come back to the example uh, problem okay right so we have taken the cable theorem the general cable theorem and we have applied the general cable theorem for a cable having uh, supports at same level applied by udl okay so from that we have calculated the value of horizontal reaction okay uh, or else you can call it as a horizontal component of the tensile force of the cable okay because uh, the h value is constant everywhere right you take uh, this location h is uh, the same value as that of uh, the h at a or h at b so h is constant everywhere reason what there is no horizontal force applied on the cable that's why you take any section sum of all horizontal forces is always h okay so that's why uh, you will uh, have h value constant uh, in the cable okay so then we have proved that the equation uh, of the deflected shape is parabola okay right then we have taken the section uh, in the cable we have derived formula for tensile force in the cable to find okay so t is equal to h into square root of 1 plus 16 h square into l minus 2x whole square divided by l power 4 and we have substituted for x for getting a minimum and maximum value so minimum tension in the cable will be h value and maximum will depend on the sag and the span so h it is more than h so multiplied by why i i can uh, definitely say that t maximum is more than h reason it is h into square root of 1 plus something so even if this is 0 that will be equal to h only so it is the maximum tension will never be less than h value okay so this will be some 1 plus something so always more than 1 okay so that's uh, uh, the conclusion that we can make similarly uh, the shape of the cable when you apply udl uh, along the span of the cable is parabola right <clears throat> whereas when you uh, consider its own weight what does it mean own weight means udl along the cable length so the deflected shape that you get is catenary so that is uh, even derived by Leibniz and the equation for uh, finding the you know sag or dip value is y is a cosh x by a so that is uh, the discussion that we have made in the last class so the solving of cable subjected to udl when you have uh, the two ends at same level is much simpler okay so it is uh, as simple as that okay now let us see uh, how we solve uh, the cable having uh, the ends at different levels so these two uh, questions uh, are of very similar in nature so one in uh, 18 year 18 and another one in 17 
So both are very similar problems. That's why I have taken one of these problems for uh, solving. Okay. So if, if you see uh, in 18, 2018, uh, there is a problem on this cable. A cable hangs between two supports at a distance 150, 140 meters apart. Okay. So the distance between the two supports is 140 meters. One end of the support is four meters above the other. Okay. Which means if one end is here, the other end is four meters above. So the cable is loaded with UDL of one kilonewton per meter. And the sag of the cable from higher end is six meters. Means uh, the lowest point of the cable, the cable deflects like this. So lowest point of the cable is at a distance of six meters, at a level of six meters from the highest end. So what is horizontal thrust value? That means you have to find H value and uh, T maximum in the cable. Whereas if you come to this point, you see the span is 40 meters instead of 140, it is 40. And UDL instead of 1, it is 10. The left support and uh, the right support, you see, left support is below the right support by 2 meters. It was 4 meters there. And the lowest point uh, on the cable is located below left support by 1 meter. So it is uh, 6 meters from right support below the right support 6 meters. So evaluate the reactions and maximum minimum values of tension in the cable. So let us take this one and try solve this one so that you can solve the other one also. Okay. So as the supports are at different level, the equation for uh, the deflected shape uh, will change. Okay. <clears throat> so equation for deflected shape uh, what we have derived is this one. Okay. So y is equal to 4hx by l square into l minus x. Okay. So that is for uh, the cable having uh, the ends at same level. Okay. Now what will be the equation for the cable having the ends at different level, which means what? So in the arches also we have seen something like this. Okay, so let us uh, just conclude that how you deal this case. So you see that this is the uh, no. If you if you take this as the lowest point, okay, lowest point C. So left support A, right support B. So now you have to consider this lowest point as origin and you have to treat these two are as two parabolas two separate parabolas because their span is different so this is the you no know, span of the right hand side parabola and the rise of or the sag of the uh, right hand side parabola is different right whereas the span of left hand side support left hand side uh, no, cable and the sag of right hand side cable uh, left hand side cable is completely different so you have to treat them as two different parabolas so hence the equation will change so y is equal to wx square by 2h is applicable to each of these parabolas okay so the the difference between uh, the cable having uh, supports at same level you no know, the cable having uh, you know, supports at different level here the origin will be at one of the supports either a or b and the equation that you write is valid from throughout the cable. It's like a, we treat this as a single cable. But whereas uh, in this case, we treat this as two different uh, cables. Whereas because of the span, say L1, Y1 is different. 
similarly l2 y2 are different okay so that's the uh, clear you know, difference between these two okay so uh, cable having uh, supports at same level you shall use the deformed shape equation for deformed shape as y is 4 hx by l square into l minus 2x okay that is uh, the one that is derived here so, okay so 4 hx by l square into l minus x is your equation for parabola for uh, the supports at same level whereas uh, y is equal to uh, wx square by 2h is is your equation for uh, uh, the equation for uh, the cable having uh, supports at different level okay right so let us apply this one to the equation okay i, I think you got the you know, uh, difference between the two uh, cases of parabola supporting parabola okay right so if you are in if you want to talk in terms of horizontal reaction this is the equation okay for the purpose of you know uh, expressing the y equation in terms of uh, sag value we have converted the uh, h value here okay now we have substituted for h and you got this equation okay got it so now so this is the diagrammatic representation for the problem so 40 meters is the span and the one meter is the lowest point from left support and uh, the level difference between the supports is now uh, two meters okay so this is two meters okay load is 10 kilo newton per meter in fact uh, it it should be shown along this line uh, till this point so though it is uh, applied along the cable you shall understand that this is along the you have to imagine that this is uh, the load is along this line okay right so first what you need to do so you have got the value of sag okay sag means what lowest the difference between the lowest point and the left support so that is i call it as y a okay now the sag point uh, the the lowest point is above uh no when compared to b it is below by three meters two plus one so i can write like this so just uh, mention this as for y b okay right so y a value is one meter y b value is three meters two plus one got it so this is your origin now so what is the sag of a it is one meter what is sag of b the level difference between c and b it is three meters okay so now you substitute into that equation so uh, we don't know where the lowest point is that's why i take this as x from right hand side support and 40 minus x from left hand side support you can uh, even take this as x and this as 40 minus x that is your wish okay right so if i consider this as x and remaining is 40 minus x so what is equation for y y equation is equal to udl x square by 2h isn't it 
So if you can see, is wx square by 2h is the equation. Okay, y equation. Okay. Right. Now you substitute for value of x to get y value. You know y values. You know y values. You know two y values. Okay. So from here, this is the origin. What is x coordinate for point A? And what is x coordinate? See, what is y coordinate for point A? Okay. This is 0, 0. That you have to understand. This is 0, 0 now. Okay, so to the left, 40 minus x is the x coordinate. What is this value? 1 meter is the y coordinate. So that we are using. So y is equal to 1, y is equal to 1, substitute y is equal to 1, and x is equal to 40 minus x. Okay, that gives you equation 1. Similarly, if it is 0, 0, what is x coordinate of b is x. What is y coordinate of b? 3 meters. So coordinates of b are x comma 3. So substitute y is equal to 3 and x is again x only. So this is second equation. So now you just sim uh, simple rearrangement. So equation 1 rearrange 2. So uh, 1 is here to the left hand side. So h you take it to the left hand side h is equal to 1 comes to the denominator so 2 into 1 is a, always 2 so 10 into 40 minus x whole square by 2 into 1 is equation 1 modified okay similarly equation 2 you just modify take h to the left hand side and uh, 3 to the right hand side so 3 comes down will be 6 so 10x square by 6 is the equation to modified now left hand sides are equal so you equate these two that is what we have done okay so you can see uh, here two two threes so 10 into 40 minus x whole square and 10x square by 3. So from that, if you solve, x is equal to 25.359 meters. Substitute x value into either 1 or 2, equation 1 or 2, you get h value. That is 1071.8 kilonewton. Okay. So this is how we solve for uh, location of the lowest point okay uh, and the h value horizontal reaction now what about the other reactions now there's uh, you can easily solve them because you know h value now okay so by taking the free body diagram of the cable okay so now you take the free body diagram of the cable so this is h this is vb and h because h is same everywhere so v a and anyhow you have udl So the UDL will act along the length. The value of UDL is uh, 10 kilonewton per meter. So this is 10 kilonewton per meter. Okay. So take moments about A. Sum of all moments about A. So what happens? This is 2 meters, right? So what happens? So 10 into UDL, 10 into 40 is the span, 10 into 40 into half of the distance is 20. That is moment from UDL. So this is UDL. 
so moment is clockwise okay so 10 into 40 into distance is 20 plus one zero seven one point eight is h value h into two that is also clockwise okay so both are clockwise this is anti-clockwise moment from vb is anti-clock so vb into 40 minus vb into 40 okay yes. so equal to zero so left hand side is actually vb into 40 so if you want vb 40 will come down to denominator so that is how this is vb is formed so what is vb value 253.59 kilonewton now simply sigma f y zero if you do not even uh, moment equilibrium this is optional so v a can be found either from taking moments about b or simply by sigma f y zero this is easy right so v a plus the vertical uh, force equilibrium equation instead of moment equilibrium equation that's it so va plus vb is equal to 10 into 40 which is like 400 kilonewton so already you know vb value substitute this vb value to get va value so that va is equal to 146.41 kilonewton right now you got va value vb value h value okay so uh, so you know from the you know, properties of the cable minimum tensile force in the cable will always be equal to h so that all that is already there okay now you need to find t maximum how you find t maximum by knowing again from the characteristics of the cable maximum tensile force occurs at the support so you have to find which support it is either a or b so how do you know that uh, the tensile force at support it is by just taking resultant <coughs> so resultant at a is equal to square root of v a square plus h square that is 1081.76 similarly at b the resultant force resultant force at b is t maximum at b is t maximum at a okay so t a t b values this is like resultant is equal to tension at a this resultant is equal to tension at b okay so t b square root of v b square plus h square so what is v b value substitute 253.59 so you get 1101.4 kilonewton so out of these two which is maximum whichever is having more vertical reaction because h is same so the maximum will be decided by just the vertical force value so that is this one so the higher end will have maximum tension lower end will have minimum tension okay got it so i will tell you uh, 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 one uh, funny thing here so if um, maybe myself okay myself and my son okay uh, or my, my baby wants to carry uh, by you know uh, wants to carry uh, 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 a weight okay so by tying it to the rope 
okay which end which end shall i take okay so which end i shall shall i take or which end of the cable you know uh, which end of the rope will have minimum uh, effort uh, needs to be put by uh, by the persons <coughs> so involved here is myself and my baby so i have uh, more effort to put because i am at you know i am holding at the higher level and my baby will hold the cable at uh, uh, the rope at the lower uh, end so uh, he or she need not put much effort to hold that one okay whereas i have to put much effort to hold it okay it's just a funny thing out of this result okay so the person who is at higher end holding it i mean to say support at higher end will have to offer higher resistance than the person at lower end okay the person or the support at lower end will offer less resistance okay so t maximum occurs at higher end right this is the example problem that uh, you have to uh, follow and also practice this one on your own just try this problem uh, to solve in the same way just the uh, numbers uh, are not changing that's all all other things are same the same similar problem very similar problem okay i think you got uh, uh, this problem to understand in a much better way right okay thank you